Hi everybody, my name is Jens Larsen. A few days ago I published a video on how you shouldn't use backing tracks uh, if you wanted to improve your timing and I, in that video I also went over a few uh, exercises you can do with a metronome because I find that a metronome is a much better way to measure how precise your timing is uh, and also to train it and there are certain ways that you can work with a metronome that are really useful for your sort of inner clock and the way you feel subdivision which is really how good your rhythm is and how good your timing is. What I got a lot of questions on uh, from that video is that the three metronome exercises that I talk about, one of them is playing the metronome on two and four, and that's probably sort of the most common one and the one that everybody needs to check out first before they move on to the other ones. Uh, and I got a question, well actually I got several questions on how do I get started doing that. So I thought I would just make a quick video on that because that's not so difficult to explain. Uh, the process that I'm doing here is actually the same process you want to do if you want to do one of the more difficult ones. I think you want to do this one first because that's just going to be easier. But in general, um, you probably want to keep this sort of order of things that I'm doing now. It's not really a method or, or much of a process. It's just first try and get the basics down and then try and end up with soloing. Uh, that's sort of the idea. Um, but yeah, so you want to keep that in mind. Also, if you want to do the dotted quarter notes or the... Um, the metronome in three when you're playing in four or uh, if you're playing with the metronome on the second triplet. Okay, so the idea is really simple. We need to figure, a way, figure out a way to hear the metronome on two and four. I think that's sort of the first thing you want to be able to do. Uh, actually, you need to be able to do that if you want to play anything because otherwise you're just sort of playing against the metronome or getting misinformation from it. So that's, that's the thing you need to figure out first. So here we have the metronome. Uh, you have to keep in mind that when you're working with a metronome like this, then uh, on two and four, then the tempo is twice what you're set it to because you're only playing half the beats, right? So in this case, I have it on 66, so that's 132 beats per minute. So it's really like a slow medium, and uh, that sounds like this. And I probably, if you're used to playing with a metronome you can only hear this as being the beat. It's hard to hear this as being the afterbeat. So you will only hear like one, two, three, four, uh, and otherwise you might hear it as one, three, one, three. But we want to have it to be two, four, two, four. So the way to sort of get used to that, this is it's really a simple way of doing it. I think it takes a little bit, probably takes a few tries to get used to it, but you kind of have to turn the beat around on it. So, um, two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, four. So what I'm doing is I'm starting sort of to emphasize the one and then kind of doing that until I can really feel like, okay, now I have my foot on one and three, right? So. So those are the heavy beats. That's where the chords are changing. That's kind of what um, what I'm what I have going and what I want to feel as sort of the main pulse of the music. And then, um, and that's just because I think that's well. I might want to mention that as well. I don't really have my foot on two and four. You can train doing that, and that's fine if you want to do that. I think for this exercise, if you're used to just feeling the beat and you have trouble hearing the metronome as two and four, then you probably want to keep your foot on all all four or one and three especially one and three, then you really have to feel it. So that can be a good idea to do like that. Um, as far as I know, Barry Harris also tells you to use one and three uh, for your foot, if it's uh, a faster tempo anyway. Maybe this is not exactly a faster tempo, but still. Uh, so the things you need now is are gonna be maybe a sort of a song you know well, um, and you know both the chords and the melody, and it should not be too difficult because you don't want to worry too much about the song. You just want to play it with a metronome. One, two, three, four. So that's where we are. And then uh, let's do all the things wrong. And just a bit of that. So first, just try the chords. OK, 
Okay, so once you can do that a bit, then uh, and that starts to feel like okay, I'm actually playing. I don't have the feeling that I have to play this sort of a weird in between place. This is just really on the one that I'm playing it. Then you can try and play the melody as well, just to have something that's a little bit more complicated but still easy. I'm starting to sort of do stuff with it. You can do that if you want to, but in the beginning, just keep it simple. The idea is that you can still hear the metronome, you can still relate to what's going on. Once you can do that, and as well, so both the chords and the melody, then maybe try and solo a bit. Uh, and then, then you're actually good to go. That's all you need to do. So. And while he keeps on playing, I'm just gonna turn him down a bit and then um, say thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you want to check out more stuff on jazz guitar and never saw any of my videos before, then uh, subscribe to my channel. I publish a new video every Monday and Thursday. And I've been doing this for quite some time, so there's really a lot of stuff already on my channel. Uh, if you have a question for me in terms of something that I can explain quickly like this, then I can maybe make a quick video on it, of course. Uh, and also with the other videos if you post a question there then or I'll get back to you in the comments or I can also uh, maybe turn it into a lesson so if you, there's something you want to see a lesson on or a video on if there's something you want to know leave a comment that's the best way to reach me actually uh, for the rest thank you for watching and uh, until next time <laughs>